But we're talking about primary meningoencephalitis, which is caused by Nigleria falari. So why is the diagnosis delayed? Okay, so here's the deal. The diagnosis of PAM is often delayed because physicians are thinking of other diagnoses. The symptoms of fevers, chills, night sweats, stiff neck, headache, uh, fatigue can actually mimic other conditions that involve the brain. And so if they are thinking of an infection, the number one infection that physicians think of in the emergency department is meningitis or encephalitis. In the process, spinal fluid is collected and it is tested for either bacteria or viral causes. But here's the catch. Unless we specifically test for Nagleria falari, we will miss the diagnosis. Most hospitals have the ability to test for bacterial growth from that fluid. Bacterial growth can occur anywhere from 24 to 72 hours, but often there's an initial test that can show whether or not bacteria are present. Viral tests often are sent out in many smaller hospitals that lack the capabilities of running the test in-house, and those test results may not come back for three to five days. So unless we detect the actual amoeba under a microscope, we will miss a diagnosis. Here's a tip for you. If you or your child were outside and spent time in warm, fresh water sources such as ponds, lakes, uh, rivers, or the like, let your doctor know that. Because unless they test for it, they will miss the diagnosis.